My name is Jonathan Oramello. I'm a uh, Blue Marble Space Institute of Science contractor working as a bioinformatics programmer on the NASA Gene Lab and data processing team. Uh, today I'll be talking about the Gene Lab RNA seq consensus pipeline, specifically a NextFlow implementation. Uh, before I get into the implementation, I want to give a quick overview of Gene Lab. The Gene Lab project seeks to accelerate space biology research through cataloging and democratizing space biology omics data. Uh, this includes curating rich experimental metadata, raw data, process data, all in one place. Uh, GeneLab also works to standardize processing approaches uh, towards enabling multi data set research. Ultimately, the work of GeneLab hopes to expand the accessibility of space biology data for research, all the way from citizen scientists to domain specialists. Today, I'm going to be presenting the next implementation of our RNA-seq consensus pipeline, which includes an associated staging pre-processing workflow, uh, as well as a validation and verification pipeline. A high-level overview of the consensus pipeline itself is as follows. One, we take our raw uh, FASTQ files, uh, generate QC reports. Next, we perform adapter and quality trimming as well as uh, generating the associated QC reports for those trimmed reads. The star index is built and is used to align the trimmed reads to it, the genome. Uh, before we quantify gene expression, we actually infer the strandedness of the original library using RSeq QC. And then we combine the assessed strandedness, the star alignments, and an RSEM reference to generate our unnormalized gene counts. Those gene counts are then normalized before undergoing gene expression analysis with dseq 2 And additional gene annotations are added to generate a final annotated DG output table. Uh, I'll also be covering the two associated pipelines, staging and VNV, that work together with the core processing pipeline. Staging. Staging is going to be the pipeline that performs uh, the setup before you actually get into processing. Uh, it includes two different routes for uh, using the workflow. The first one is a fully automated processing for gene lab data sets in particular, uh, where you just have to provide the accession ID as well as a reference uh, ensemble version that you'd like to use, as well as a route where you can supply a manually created uh, CSV file. Uh, for usage and processing non gene lab data sets. The VNV workflow is built on a framework uh, written in Python. It runs after each major step and really has two major goals. First, keeping a detailed log of VNV checks on the raw and process data, including notable observations like outliers. And two, to recognize egregious issues during processing like CRUP files and uh, halt processing, uh, saving computational resources and allowing manual intervention. So here I'm actually showing an example of uh, the raw reads VNV, including the flag codes for each check, a portion of the checks that is output by the framework, and the output of a single check. So all of that will land in a uh, final uh, table for each check. Process data for the overall workflow is organized and uh, is published for everything on GeneLab uh, that is processed through this workflow. And uh, these files are available for downstream research applications from the trimmed FASTQC files, or sorry, FASTQ files, uh, as well as all of the alignment all the way through the final output table we get from the DG and GNN annotation. In fact, I did want to showcase in particular. Uh, an example of the kind of information you'd find in that final annotated DG output table. This is going to include plenty of uh, mapped gene annotations, normalized counts for each sample, comparison statistics, data set wide statistics, and group statistics, all readily usable in downstream applications, uh, things like GC uh, or even just custom analyses. The code for this workflow is going to be on the NASA GitHub. 
uh, but we are still currently working through some security release protocols. However, the actual processing steps themselves that make up the core workflow are documented there currently. Finally, I just want to uh, note some acknowledgements. The Gene Lab Analysis Working Group uh, played a huge role in the design of this processing workflow, as well as Gene Lab Project Funding that made the implementation with Nextflow possible, including the associated staging and VNV pipelines.